Well, the mitral valve allows oxygenated blood to travel from the lungs into the heart, where it is pumped out to the rest of the body. Normally, the valve closes when the heart contracts to prevent blood from flowing backwards. If the valve doesn't close properly, some blood flows backwards towards the lungs instead of forwards to the rest of the body each time the heart contracts. And this causes the pressure in the lungs to increase. Patients typically become breathless and easily fatigued when exerting themselves. The amount of blood available to the heart is reduced, so the heart has to work harder. And it can do that for a while, but eventually it will tire and that causes heart failure. Mitral regurgitation can occur even in very young patients who often present with a very sudden and severe breathlessness and they may need to be treated very quickly. But mitral regurgitation can also be present for many years and can be missed easily by doctors. For elderly patients who become breathless, it's not unusual for them to be told that's just because you're getting older, when really it can be due to a dysfunctional valve. Transcatheter mitral valve repair with a mitral valve clip involves passing a catheter through the femoral vein, the main blood vessel in the upper leg close to the groin. Once in position, the cardiologist identifies the part of the mitral valve that's leakiest and clips the two valve leaflets together. Instead of the mitral valve having one large opening then, by clipping the valve in the middle, we typically create a valve with two openings, which allows the leaflets then to come together to prevent blood from flowing backwards into the lungs. Patients are home within a couple of days of the procedure as it's a venous puncture, so not particularly invasive. So the bleeding risks are small, and patients usually feel good soon after the procedure. It does take a day or so to recover from the light general anaesthetic, but most patients go home within 24 to 48 hours.